Hello. Okay, discuss ko lang po itong itong modes of reproduction in plants, non-flowering plants. Share ko lang po yung screen ko. Okay. So, modes of reproduction in non-flowering plants. So, may ibang modes po yung uh, reproduction ang non-flowering plants. So, describe the different modes of reproduction in flowering and non-flowering plants such as moles, fern, mongo, and others. Okay, objectives. Categorize, uh, categorize plants into groups based on how they reproduce. Compare and contrast natural ve uh, vegetative and reproduction and artificial vegetative reproduction in producing new plants. Show love and concern to our environment. Okay, flowering plants reproduce sexually. How do the non-flowering plants reproduce? Ano yung ginaga ginagawa nila para mag-reproduce uh, sila? Okay, some plants do not produce fruits. So, vegetative, uh, vegetative propagation is a form of asexual reproduction in which a new plant grows from plant parts of an existing plant. The new plants are clones of the original plants because their genetic makeup is the same to the original plant. So, vegetative propagation is a faster way of growing plants than the use of spores or seeds. Okay. So, yung asexual reproduction po is mas mabilis na process. Kaso, ah, pag asexual, yung genetic material na meron yung parent, yun din yung sa offspring niya. Ganun talaga kapag asexual reproduction. So, asexual reproduction, some plants reproduce without fertilization. So, there, uh, they, uh, <clears throat> they do with this uh, with their stem, roots, or leaf. This type of uh, reproduction is called a sexual reproduction. Okay, they do this with their uh, stems. So typographical error dito. It does not need seeds. Therefore, there is no union of a sperm cell and egg cell that takes place. Okay, we have natural vegetative reproduction. It is a process by which a structural modification is done on the stem, root, or leaf of a herbaceous or woody plant. Okay, natural. Uh, it can be bulb. It is a round, fleshy stem found underneath the ground, surrounded by fleshy leaves. Plants grow from these bulbs by simply taking one bulb plant from a plant. And planting it. So, for example, onions, garlic, and lilies. So, ito, nabubuhay sila or nagmumultiply sila using their bulbs. Itatanim nyo lang siya sa lupa at yun, magmumultiply na siya. Next is tuber. So, it is an enlarged portion of, a, of an underground stem that contains stored food. Example, white potatoes, kamote, and sweet potato. Okay, ito po yung example ng tuber. So, with the help of this, makakapag-reproduce or makakapag-multiply na po yung ganitong klase ng halaman with the, uh, with the use of their tuber. Diba? Next, next is rhizome. This is a stem that grows horizontally underground. It is usually thick and fleshy and contains stored food. For example, the lower surface of the rhizome produces roots. Ito po yung example ng rhizome. It can be gingers or bamboos. Ito po yung stem siya, underground stem. Okay, ito po yung underground stem kung saan Sin, uh, ito po yung stored food at dito po pwedeng suluyan ng panibagong uh, stem or leaves. Yan. 
So, ganito po kabilis mag-multiply ang ginger or turmeric or uh, bamboo through their underground stem or yung tinatawag natin rhizome. Next is through shoots or suckers. These are small plants that grow around the main plant. These shoots grow in their own roots and can be separated from the main plant. Okay, example, banana plants. Pag sinabi natin suckers, ito, yan. Ito po, sumusuloy lang po sila doon sa roots na ang, uh, ban, uh, ng plant. At yan, magiging panibagong, um, na siya, uh, panibagong halaman na siya. Next is runner. A runner or stolen is a horizontal stem with buds. It grows along the surface of the ground where buds from a runner touch the soil, roots, stem, and leaves develop to, for, uh, to, from, uh, to form a new to form a new independent, independent plant. Ano ba yan? Mali-mali yung nakalagay dito. Typographical error. Okay? To form a new independent plant. So, ito po yung runner. Example, Bermuda grass, carabao grass. Yan. Bakit siya sinabing runner? Kasi ka, once na nag-extend yung stem niya, may panibagong susuloy na naman na ano, leaves. At yung leaves na yon mag-create siya ng another stem. At yan, mabilis siya mag-spread. Next is artificial veg uh, vegetables reproduction. So there are other methods that can be used which can artificially propagate plants. So these methods are used to improve the quality and productivity of plants. We have cutting, uh, yung pagputo ng stem, leaf, or root to produce a new plant. Okay, example, geraniums, roses, ivies, and grapevines. Okay, in cutting leaf, a leaf or part of the leaf is placed in water or moist soil. For example, African violet, snake plants, and begonias. So, ganun lang po siya kadali. Bababad mo lang siya ng konti sa tubig, and then itatan mo na siya sa soil. Babas, uh, wow, didiligan mo lang siya every other day at mabubuhay na siya. Okay, these are examples of cutting. Okay, artificial. Next is layering. A stem is bent over so that a part of it is covered with soil. So after the covered part form roots, the new plant may be cut from the parent plant. So it is also occurs naturally. Okay, paano ba yan? Example, raspberries, roses, and honeysuckles. So, may uh, yung kanyang stem, nagle-layered po yan sa, sa ground, at pwede po siyang uh, maka-create ng panibagong offspring. Ang ginagawa po dito, ang technique is, inilulubog po yung stem doon sa lupa at ilalagyan ng uh, paltak hanggang sa magkaroon na ng roots yung stem at doon na puputulin yung ano yung uh, ni layered na stem doon sa lupa Next is grafting this is one of the most widely used methods in producing woody plants Two healthy stems from different plants are taken and put together Example, roses, oranges, and grapes. So, ito po yung grafting. Uh, Pinagko-combine po natin yung isang main stem and another stem na galing sa ibang plant or uh, trees. At yun, uh, dun siya, dun, uh, mas mabilis yung production niya or makaproduce ng fruits. Next is marketing. This is done by removing a portion of the bark of a healthy stem. The exposed part of the stem where the bark used to be is, is covered 
with coconut husk containing a small amount of good soil. Okay, so, ano yun yun lang, tatapyasin yun lang yung uh, pinaka uh, part noong, noong stem. And then, papalibutan nyo po sa ng uh, babasain hanggang sa magkaroon siya ng roots. Then, saka nyo po po tulin. So, what are the natural methods of asexual reproduction in plants? Can you answer these questions? What are the artificial methods of asexual reproduction in plants? What are the advantages of artificial vegetative, uh, vegetative reproduction? And compare and contrast natural vegetative reproduction and artificial reproduction in producing new plants. And explain why farmers choose to reproduce plants asexually. So can you answer these questions? By, uh, by commenting your answers in our comment box. Bye-bye. Thank you po. Tapos na ako. Bye-bye na po.